Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for all of the signs from Pisces to Aries. This is going to be what's coming in love, so let's get started. What is going on for Pisces in love? What's coming to Pisces in love? What's coming to Pisces in love? Okay, so boom, it's very clear that you guys are definitely um, most likely leaving a situationship, relationship, or leaving whoever you guys were dealing with. Um, it looks like you've been kind of holding on to this relationship with this person a little bit too tightly with the ego card. It's been really hard for you to walk away from this. Um, this is definitely something that was toxic, but I do see you walking away. For some of you, I'm hearing, like, you have no choice. Like, yeah, it's definitely over between you and this person. Like, whatever this person came into your life for, like, it has served its purpose. You guys have learned what you needed to learn from this situation. So I definitely see your advice here is to protect yourself, protect your energy. Also, like, protect what you have worked for, uh, protect your assets, or literally just like protecting your peace, protecting yourself from this person. You may be blocking this person um, just because I feel like there is a level of toxicity here, whether that's um, just coming from this person or just the situation itself being toxic. Um, maybe you guys have like both a hard time letting go of each other but I definitely see that is happening no matter what. Um, I just feel like it's something that's really hard for you and something that you don't want to do. Like, I definitely feel that very loud and clear. But it's like, even you know that, like, you have to. Um, for some of you, I feel like maybe you held on to this person longer than you knew you should have. Because there's a thing, like, where you guys, like, knew that this was bad for you. Like, you knew this person, like, wasn't good for you, but, like, you kept holding on to it now. And I think the universe has shown you through a couple different things why this person was no good for you. I feel like this was also not only affecting, like, your mental health, but I feel like it also started to take a toll on, like, your physical health as well like I feel like you guys had to take a real good look at yourself to be like damn this is no good for me like look at what this is doing to me like that's kind of the vibe I'm getting either way this is definitely something that you knew wasn't good and it's like even though it's hard I do see you letting go I feel like you guys again maybe you guys stayed a little bit longer than you knew you were supposed to because it's almost like you were a little bit scared of what else was out there. Like, um, sometimes they say, like, it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't. So for some of you, I feel like maybe you got a little bit too comfortable with this person. You guys could have been back and forth for a while. But yeah, it's like when you actually take yourself out of the situation, it's almost like you're having this aha moment of like wow you know i feel like so much better and lighter and this is something that i definitely should have done a long time ago like i just feel like the weight you've been carrying on your shoulders is like falling off as you enter this new door in your life also too i feel like this person could have been literally stressing you out so much that like for some of you like it definitely could have been either like making you gain weight or something just because it's like this weight on your shoulders i'm also seeing as like a physical weight and yeah it's like when you finally detach and leave the situation completely it's like yeah this weight falls off of your shoulders but it's also like the weight you've gained through stress like melts off too and I see you guys like looking and feeling better than ever. Again, it's like you guys are actually like, damn, I need to protect myself from this person and people like this because like that definitely put me through the ringer and I'm doing so much better now and I'm feeling so much better now to ever put myself back in a situation like that or with this person again. Like that's basically what I'm getting. Um, I wish I had something more positive for you guys, but I feel like this is actually a blessing in disguise. Like... This may kind of suck when you're going through it, 
but it's like when the smoke clears and you can see clearly you're gonna be like wow i am so much better off without this person this person has been dragging me down for so long and like you're gonna see that this was basically a blessing in disguise like what you thought was a bad thing like breaking up or ending a situation you're actually gonna realize it took you to a way better place like again a blessing in disguise and it's like the progress i see after is also going to confirm that with you that you made the right choice so that's what i got for pisces now we're going to do aquarius Okay, what's coming in love for Aquarius? Okay, so boom, I feel like you guys want true love long lasting or you guys may be at that stage in your life where you're like dating for marriage, but I feel like you guys are realistic. So like, even though this is the goal, um, I just feel like you guys are keeping this in mind when meeting or dating people. Like, I definitely feel like you guys can either be going out on dates or people could be asking you out. Like, you guys are Aquariuses, so I don't want to say this in a way where it sounds like you guys are just trying to force this marriage thing. Like, I know you guys are kind of coming in with a unattached, um, no expectations kind of vibe. It's more or less like you're trying to vet out the kind of people they are, if that makes sense. Um, because I see you guys are literally, like, fine being single. You guys don't mind being in your own energy. Very Aquarius of you guys. Um, like, you guys are definitely more than fine and content by yourself. But I do see, like, if you guys are not married, like, that's definitely something you want to happen in your life one day. So I feel like you guys are basically just trying to pick the people you're dating wisely, if that makes sense. Yeah, because it's like as soon as someone is showing you a red flag or like showing you their true colors, like you guys are not trying to repaint them. Like you guys are leaving them right where they had you fucked up at. Like no explanation. Like you guys are like, oh, nope, I'm going to go. Bye. Like that's kind of what I'm getting because you do want to like protect your energy. You guys know what you want in life and you guys know the type of person you want to date so if these people are like not checking off your boxes or again like showing red flags or like showing you who they are or like i don't know i feel like for example maybe you guys could have been like dating someone or like getting to know someone and like they showed you who they were like early so you guys were like bet i'm out like that's kind of what i'm getting it's like i saw all i needed to see or for some of you, it's like you're literally like not even going on the date. You're just like using your intuition and you're like, oh, I'm getting like bad vibes from this person. And you're like, I don't know why, but I don't want to stick around and find out. So I'm letting this go. I'm going to like dodge this bullet. But yeah, definitely for some of you, I feel like again, like you literally could have been like getting to know someone. They could have lied to you or something or like they were just showing you what you needed to see to like leave the situation and protect yourself for a lot of you if that did happen i do feel like this person is ready to like beg for your forgiveness if they haven't already um they're definitely wanting to reach out to you but i just heard they can't so for a lot of you you definitely could have blocked this person again because it's like you saw what you needed to see like you don't need any explanation like you're good like that's kind of what i'm getting um you're making the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. I feel like if you guys like either ghosted this person or like, yeah, like blocked this person or something after they did something like they did something that again, like showed you who they were. I do feel like they could be trying to like guilt trip you or make you feel bad because you didn't explain like why you left or why you ghosted them or something. But it's like for you guys, you really feel like they don't even deserve an explanation because they know they fucking lied. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, like, you guys almost think it's funny I'm getting that, like, they think that they could, like, play in your face. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Or, like, play on your phone. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting, too. 
And honestly, if you did leave that situation, good for you because like I do see the sun's coming out for you and a better partner is on the way. You could be meeting them definitely like in fall time, in autumn. This is someone who's very like loyal and captivating, very assertive. Like if you guys are looking to date a man, for example, this person is exactly that. Um, or like if you're looking to date like a real woman, for example, like this person is like that is what I'm getting. So this is like very like mature. Uh, this person's not going to play in your face. This person's not going to play around. They're actually going to be very like serious about you, but in a way that doesn't like scare an Aquarius, if that makes sense, because Aquarius is like a sense of freedom. Just for an example, like whoever you guys were recently dealing with or maybe even like past people you dealt with. It's almost like they wanted to lock you in a cage or like they wanted you to live your life like how they think you should or like they definitely wanted to control you to some extent because an Aquarius is a free spirit and this person is not going to be like that if that makes sense and they're actually going to admire that free spirit of yours because it's like you're a leader and this person is a leader so like you guys are going to like lead together if that makes sense. Like, this person's not going to be threatened by your independence. This person is not going to be threatened by who you are as a person. I feel like you guys are a very, like, strong person. And they're just going to love that about you. Like, they're not going to want to change anything about you because they're going to love and accept you for exactly who you are. Which I feel like is very different from past people that you were dealing with or, again, like, your most recent person. Because I feel like even if they did at first like these things about you, it's like as soon as they try dating you, it's like they want to try to strip you of those things. But what they didn't realize is how rebellious Aquariuses are. Like if you push them and tell them to do something or not to do something, like they will do the opposite. And yeah, I just feel like you guys are going to end up with someone that is just the complete opposite of that. Like, they are really gonna just, like, admire your free will, your free spirit, your rebelliousness. Like, I don't know, I feel like you guys are gonna have, like, a really good dynamic. Um, so that's what I got for you guys, and now we're gonna do Capricorn. Alright, what's coming in love for Capricorn? Okay, so boom, I feel like you guys are getting some news here that's going to make you really happy regarding like a relationship or love connection, either one that you already have or one that is going to come in. Um, I see this regarding someone's feelings for you. So someone's going to tell you how they feel about you. They're really hoping that their plans work out perfectly with you uh, because they have a lot of love for you. They have a lot of strong feelings for you. And even though this news is making you happy, I feel like it's also making you feel a little stuck here. You may be overthinking a bit, feeling trapped between your intellect and emotions. I see indecision could be holding you back from taking it further with this person. Because, yeah, it's like you need a little push to get going. But it's like, even though this makes you happy, you're not sure if this is like the best choice for you. Like, you don't really want to hurt this person's feelings either. Like, again, like... I don't know, you guys are feeling a little confused, I think, with your emotions. Because, yeah, it makes you happy, but it's, like, also making you a little bit scared for this wheel to move forward, for the delays to be over, for this wheel to move forward, because I do see it leading to the Ten of Cups being happy, emotionally fulfilled with family, friends, um, raising children wisely, people you can trust. Like, I do see you having, like love with this person but it's almost like you're a little scared to let yourself have it but over here it is saying like it's time to take action so like you guys may be scared to move forward with this person because you could be scared to possibly you know have your heart broken or something or scared this may not work out but like i see the wheel turning in your favor here and like i said it's going to lead to the ten of cups if you let it um, 
definitely the advice here is like, listen, if you really like this person, like if you have strong feelings for them and they just told you like how they feel about you, like you need to let yourself have this good thing basically is what I'm getting. Um, because I see you so happy and like I see this person treating you like a goddess or a god. Like I feel like you guys are going to have also like a lot of creative energy around you and this definitely can be someone that you wind up like marrying and having kids with or something like that just because i'm seeing like raising children wisely and there's definitely like a baby on this empress card and the empress is fertile energy um it's creation i feel like you guys would be able to create like a beautiful life and a beautiful family together and for some of you it's almost like you know that and it kind of makes you scared to go for it but again it's like don't be scared you just need a little push to get going and i think this is your push. So um, congratulations, I love that for you. And now we're gonna do Sagittarius. Okay, what's happening in love for Sagittarius? Ooh. Y'all getting married or like proposed to or something. Or there's some type of like relationship definitely going further. Falling in love suddenly, being swept off of your feet being grateful you have much to celebrate deep feelings of peace happiness with someone a contented personal life with someone taking action and being fearless to pursue your most treasured dreams and especially like your most treasured dream of love and like yeah taking like a spiritual commitment and definitely like getting married or something like that's actually amazing um yeah, I see this is true love long lasting, making choices from the heart and making like a big spiritual commitment like under God, the great creator, whatever you believe in. Like I definitely feel like you guys are about to take it to the altar. Um, So yeah, if you guys like haven't already, like I definitely feel like y'all are about to get married. Like someone's definitely either like proposing to you or like they have. Or, like, you will be meeting someone that is, like, definitely your forever person. I love that for you guys. Um, I actually love this so much. It's, like, this is, like, the first card. And, like, this is the last card. Like, you guys are definitely getting married here. Like, that's amazing. You guys are literally about to be just, like, over the moon with joy. Because this is about to be, like, a very exciting time in your life. Especially in the love department. Um, congratulations on your proposal, on your marriage. I just see this is like very beautiful and definitely has been blessed by like God or like whoever you guys believe in. So I love that for you guys. Definitely entering like a very exciting chapter of your life. Okay, so now we're going to do Scorpio. What's coming in love for Scorpio? Okay, so boom, specifically if you guys are single, I feel like there can be something kind of short-lived coming. Just because it looks like the beginning of like a romantic relationship, um, falling in love suddenly, I feel like you guys are both like very smitten with each other. Like this feels like a lot of infatuation, very flirty, um, very like for the moment because I feel like it's very again like short-lived like just as fast as it starts I feel like it's going to end because you're going to kind of like learn more about this person and you're gonna be like oh I thought this person was great but like now that I'm kind of seeing more like what's under the surface you're like realizing like this person is not as great as I thought they were and they're actually a really bad choice for me um so yeah, I definitely feel like you guys are choosing to drop this because you're like, this is not something that I want to put my energy into. This is not somebody I want to continue seeing. This is not the type of person that I want to be with is also what I'm getting from that. And yeah, because this is not somebody you want to invest your time and energy with, I do see you like, you know, pointing this person to the door. Um... 
And yeah, I just feel like the ending is like very sudden. It's like just as quick as it starts is as quick as it's over. Um, and it's like because you guys know you're not powerless in this situation, like, yeah, you're not going to stay in something that like you want no business in. So yeah, I definitely feel like you had no problem taking yourself out especially when like this person's darkness was illuminated in some way it's like the truth came out about something whether it was the truth about this person and who they really are or like whatever i just see like the truth came out that is when you left and yeah it's like because you understand like the truth of a situation or a person it just made letting go that much easier um, and I do see you getting like powerful intuitive epiphanies for some of you like your intuition could have told you something about this person or like definitely again like something came to light here and you're like well that's all I needed to see next like that's kind of what I'm getting and I do see you meeting someone else that can like help your dream of true love come true so it's like, yeah, you're not going to like stick around with this person and let them take up the spot for the next one. You're going to clear out that space so that next one can come in. Like you guys are definitely like at peace with this situation. But yeah, I definitely do see something like short term for you guys, like maybe a fling or something here, um, like definitely a short lived love connection. But like you guys are going to be like totally OK with it ending. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. And now we're going to do Libra. Okay, so what's coming in love for Libra? Oops, that was too much. If you guys are single, I do see that ending. Um, I feel like you're going to get on the chariot with someone and have like almost like your happily ever after moment. Um, you're going to be with someone that really cherishes like their alone time with you. Like they're going to love spending time with you. Um, so if you haven't found that person yet, I do because for some of you, I do feel like you could be single. Um, I do see that changing. Or if you're already in a romantic connection with someone, I definitely see it elevating to the next level. Um, if you Like, for an example, if you guys are just talking to someone, I see you guys, like, you know, putting your relationship in the spotlight. So you guys definitely could be making this official here. Um, especially if you guys are, like, technically single, even though you guys are, like, dating someone. Like, I definitely feel like you guys could be, you know, making it social media official here. Um... For some of you too, I feel like you guys can be working a lot and like if you are dating someone or in a relationship with someone, I do see this person like missing you and like craving some alone time with you. Like I'm also seeing that too. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like you guys are about to be taking your relationship up a notch here. And you're going to be really happy. Like for some of you who are already like officially dating someone, I feel like you guys, I see this as like just married. Um, so I feel like, yeah, this chariot is like almost the getaway car from your wedding, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, I definitely see you like having an emotionally fulfilling life with family and friends, raising children wisely, being with someone you can trust. Like, yeah, I definitely feel like... You guys have something really good coming in for your love life. Yeah, something really good, especially with the sun here. Uh, plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude for the blessings of life and each other. Like, I just feel like you guys are going to be so happy. I also feel like if you are in a relationship with someone, um, you could be spending a lot of time at work because you're trying to, like, work hard to build like a beautiful life with someone and yeah i just feel like you guys are going to have so much gratitude for all the hard work that you put in to build this life with this person at the end um and when i say at the end i'm feeling like you know at the end of your life when you look back at everything like you're going to be looking back like really happy um that you made this happen with this person and built this beautiful life and like i don't know like it's actually making me really emotional so like Anyway, I just love that for you guys. Um, 
or for some of you too like maybe your partner is working like really really hard maybe they've been spending a lot of time at work maybe you've been missing them missing that alone time but this person is working hard for you they're working hard for the life that you guys want together so again i just feel like you guys are gonna have a really beautiful life and family life together and if you guys are already like with this person you're already married like i just feel like it's only going to get more beautiful and it's like things are only gonna keep growing for you guys like i don't know i'm seeing like this beautiful garden and it's like because you guys are both working hard to take care of it it just really grows abundantly and wildly and like it's just really really beautiful and yeah like literally basically seeing your happily ever after so yeah i love that for you guys okay what's coming in love for virgo i definitely see like a romantic partner coming in um yeah, this is something that, like, expands your horizons. This is somebody new coming into your life who's, like, very mature, very, like, romantic. Definitely could be, like, a water sign or just, like, maybe they have, like, a water mercury because I do see, like, mercury. So I feel like this person, they have, like, a way with words. They're very romantic. Um, I don't feel like you know this person because, again, I feel like you guys are, like, expanding your horizons. This is somebody new. For some of you, you could be meeting this person through some type of like creative endeavor or like through some type of project or like job opportunity or at work or something or like during an extracurricular, like maybe you guys have some hobbies and you meet this person through your hobbies or something. This person also may have like a different cultural background than you, like maybe you've never dated a person with this cultural background for example. Um, and yeah, I just feel like you guys are about to like take flight here. Um, you're feeling very optimistic and enthusiastic about this person entering your life, or you will be. And it's helping you to let go of the past. Um, wow. Yeah, for some of you, I'm also getting maybe you guys were stuck on someone for a long time. And it's like the universe is putting someone new in front of you to finally help you to let go of this past person. Because I see you letting go of your past and being excited about this new like start, this new beginning you have with this new person. Because it feels like very promising. And again, it's like helping you to let go of this past person or whoever has been like having you stuck or whoever like your mind keeps going back to it's just helping you to like finally let go of that like for some of you you may have had almost like an obsession with like a past person or something and it's like this is the person coming in that's going to help you beat your past obsession because you're gonna be even like more obsessed with this new person if that makes sense I'm hearing the obsession is mutual, so I feel like you guys are literally just going to be very, like, obsessed with each other. I feel like you guys are going to be playing off each other's energy a lot, like, bouncing off each other. Like, I don't know, there's this definitely, like, a good vibe, a good dynamic between you guys. You guys definitely, like, match each other's energy, and I just heard match each other's freak, too, so I love that. Um, and again, it's like this person is really helping you to, like, let go of your past, your past person. Um, it's like for some of you, it's like you're finally just accepting that it's over and this is just helping you to really move on. Um, and yeah, it's definitely helping you to let go of like this fear and worry that there was never going to be someone else for you or you were never going to feel this way about someone else, if that makes sense. It's like this person is also like sent from the universe to literally like make you let go of this other person. Like, they're trying to show you that there are better people out there for you, so they're doing that by sending you one. Um, because for some of you, I'm hearing, like, you're really stubborn. Because, yeah, like, we are doing Virgo, and sometimes you guys can get really stubborn and fixated on a certain outcome with someone or something. For a lot of you, it's really someone, and you've been just really, like, stuck on this person. I feel like you guys have been 
choosing to miss out on certain things also because of this person, like certain opportunities. And like the universe doesn't want you to do that. Um, and I feel like it wasn't until this person came into your life where you guys really had this like kind of acceptance that yeah, it's time to let go. Um, you guys understand the truth of the situation that you know, the outcome that you wanted to have with this person, it's like the universe wants you to realize it's not actually something that you want is kind of what I'm getting. Um, because again, like there's better out there for you. So it's like, that's exactly what they're about to show you. Um, yeah, because at the bottom of the deck, like you are about to like really find someone that you are going to build a bright future with through hard work, through creativity. Um, you're really going to find your partner. And I see like great progress being made in your life with this new person. Like I can't explain it, but it's almost like the past person was kind of keeping you at a certain level. Like it's like you couldn't progress past a certain point almost. Um, and it's like with this new person, not only are you going to progress past that point, like you are going to like take off with this person. Uh, for some of you, you actually may wind up like moving away with this person, like getting on a plane and like moving somewhere else with this person. And yeah, it's like this new person coming into your life is going to give you the closure you needed to finally, again, like let go of this past person. Because this past person has very like stagnant and stale energy. Like again, I don't feel like this was going to progress past a certain point. And it's like this new person coming in, like you are going to have the partner and relationship that you want. For some of you, it almost feels like someone was kind of like leading you on or something. It's like they knew they didn't want to progress the relationship to where you wanted it. So for an example, maybe you guys want marriage. Like this person knew they didn't want to progress this relationship towards marriage. So they definitely tried to keep you strung along for like as long as they could, if that makes sense. But it's like with the new person coming in, your relationship with this new person is going to progress to the point that you actually wanted with this past person. And it's almost like you guys are kind of just coming into this acceptance of like, okay, like that person wasn't for me because this person was meant to come into my life and I see that now. Also, too, like, you're gonna know who this person is by, like, their energy, I want to say. Like, your past person seems kind of, like, lazy or, like, very content where they are. It's a very, like, again, like, stagnant, stale energy. I don't feel like this person's doing much. And, like, this new person is gonna have, like, so much energy. They're gonna be very lively. You guys are gonna go out, do things together. You're gonna accomplish things. Again, you guys are going to be like equal partners and both be putting the same energy into something to build something beautiful, if that makes sense. And yeah, just a clear indication of this person is like where your past person was lazy, this person is not going to be, especially in bed too. Like for some of you, if you guys dated like a lazy lover or someone that was just very comfortable with you, for example, like this person is going to be the opposite. They're going to match your energy. They're going to match your freak. So like, yeah, boom. That's what I got for you guys. And now we're going to do Leo. Okay, so what's coming in love for the lovely Leos? What's coming in love for the Leos? Alright, so I see something really good happening either after a tower moment or just after a rough patch in your life. Like, I do see things getting better um, because you are, like, not letting that keep you down. You guys are taking action to create the life of happiness that you want to see you're not gonna let whatever happened keep you down you guys are leos leos are strength and courage um i just feel like you guys are really channeling like your fire power to not only keep on going but like to keep on growing too like i feel like you guys are using this also as like motivation to like not only glow up but glow up your life too um 
Yeah, it's like you guys are kind of like, you know what, that's fine. Where one door closes, another one will open. And I feel like now that this door is closed, many new doors is about to open for you. I see you creating success that allows a life of luxury, an emotionally fulfilling life with family, friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. Yeah, I feel like you guys are, again, like, not letting whatever happened bring you down. You guys are going to, like, flourish because of it. Especially if it's some type of, like, heartbreak or something. Like, yeah, you guys are definitely, like, being some full-on Leos here. Like, that's fine. I'm gonna do so good, I'm gonna make you regret it. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, like, you want this person to see, like, how much better you're doing without them. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. And for a lot of you, I feel like this already happened. Like, I feel like it definitely worked because this person is definitely looking at you like, damn, like, you're doing so much better off without me. Like, for a lot of you, it's like you also realized, like, you were too good for this person. And you're like, you know what? That's fine. They did me a favor. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, because I see you doing, like, so much better after this. I do feel like this is something that has, again, like, already happened. Like, an ending that already took place. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, too, I feel like you guys can be going out, having fun with your friends. I feel like you guys could be celebrating, too. Like, there could be something happening after this that, like, makes you want to celebrate. Not just, like, your singlehood or, like, not just celebrating yourself. Like, I feel like... Something could be taking place also, like, in your work life, too, that is going to make you want to celebrate. Um, again, I feel like you guys are like, that's fine. I'm going to glow up, and I'm going to glow up my life. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting, um, where I do feel like you're celebrating something that has to do with that. So maybe you got a new job, a promotion. You guys also could be creating things. I see, like, the power of creativity uh, bringing success that allows a life of luxury. Um, yeah, I just see you guys really just doing your own thing. Um, and there's so much creative energy around you. I feel like if you have a creative job, like it's just doing very well. Um, I feel like there's something happening in your work life and finances that like after this situation ends, like it's all going to get better for you. Like maybe also like you were spending money on this person, for example, and it's like now you're spending that money that you were on this person on yourself and like going out and doing things like, yeah, I feel like you guys are taking action to like make plans, go out. Like I feel like you guys are like definitely doing your thing right now. And again, it's like you're glowing up and so is your life. You guys also could be posting it on social media. Like again, um, like for some of you, I think you want to rub it in this person's face, like, how well off you are without them. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, this is, like, very Leo-coded, where it's like, you think I need you? No, I'm going to show you exactly why you're wrong and why you actually need me. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. And, yeah, you definitely could be making plans with your friends, like, on purpose to, like, go out to these cool places or, again, just, like, going out drinking with your friends or, like, going on dates and like definitely posting it or something so this person sees it like that's what i'm getting and it's definitely like making them feel some type of way so if that was your goal you definitely accomplished it so i'm gonna leave that there for you guys and we're going to do cancer next okay so what's coming in love for cancer Okay, that's all that wanted to come out for you, so let's see what's going on. Um, okay, so boom, it looks like there could be like a temporary pause in action in your life right now. You could be having some type of still moment, um, and the universe is doing this on purpose. I definitely feel like the love department can be kind of 
quiet at the moment and it is for a reason i feel like for a lot of you you guys been trying to regain some type of balance in your life i feel like you've been maybe even holding yourself back from dating just choosing to be single right now focusing on your career putting all your time and energy into career um I do see all the hard work that you've been putting into your career being rewarded. Like, I definitely feel like your finances and career are definitely making up for the love life right now. Yeah, I definitely see you really cherishing your alone time and just, like, putting all your extra energy into your career instead of somebody at the moment. For some of you, you may have had like a breakup or something and that could also be why you're just trying to focus on like yourself, healing, career, that kind of thing. I definitely see your money is going to be up here. I see positive changes on the way you coming out of a dark time. So definitely I feel like if you guys took a break from dating to like focus on yourself and healing and again to like get your money up. I do see a welcomed relief after troubled times. I do see things getting better for you, especially in the finance department. For some of you too, it's like, maybe you didn't go through a breakup, but it's like something is telling you right now to focus on your work and finances. And it's like, you guys aren't really questioning it, especially because like cancer is a water sign. Water signs are very intuitive. So I feel like you guys are just following your intuition like you're not sure why the universe really wants you to focus on specifically like your career and your healing but you guys are trusting it and doing it anyway and it's like i see the rewards coming in i see you having excellent craftsmanship uh long-term projects um really great work you're putting out especially if you guys are like self-employed i see you being happily and successfully self-employed um if you do work for someone i also see them being very impressed with what you're doing at work um which again could be leading to like you know either a raise in pay or something here i feel like you guys also could be taking on maybe extra hours or something again like i just feel like you're putting all this extra energy into your career instead of a person at the moment for some of you, like, I want to say if you were dealing with someone, they definitely could be in the hangman position where, like, you know, they're not reaching out, nothing is happening between you and this person, and you're like, okay, instead of thinking about this person, I'm just going to focus on me and my work. And yeah, I definitely feel like that also could be why you're putting in all those extra hours trying to make sure your mind's not on this person. Um, And yeah, I just see either way, like, you're coming out of, like, a darker time you guys are definitely making like positive changes in your life um i see you coming out of that and just being really happy it's like a welcomed relief after troubled times you're like yeah damn thank god things are finally starting to get better um like that's the kind of vibe i'm getting for some of you too like you guys also may be like traveling or relocating for your job maybe you guys got a job offer and it's like for some of you i'm seeing like overseas or something uh it doesn't have to be but i'm definitely seeing it's something that you know you're gonna either have to like move for or like travel for so like for some of you if like you resonated with what i said about like you were dealing with someone and like you know nothing's happening with that person they're in hangman mode they're not reaching out to you they're not talking to you um Again, like, you guys are kind of like, oh, okay, so that's why that didn't work out because the universe had other plans for me, basically. Um, and then it, like, kind of all makes sense for you why certain things happened the way they did and why you felt so drawn to just putting your energy into yourself and work, if that makes sense. Yeah, because you guys, like, have such good craftsmanship. Like, you guys put out such good work or whatever you do. I do feel like people could be seeing this and it's like you're getting, like, either a job offer or, like, a promotion and it's something you either have to travel or move for. And it's definitely the result of all the hard work that you've been putting in. Like, for some of you, you could be so good at your job that, like, they want to put you in corporate or they want to make you a manager or some type of boss or they want to put you in a new department or they want you to lead a new department. Like, I don't know. There's something about that there um, which definitely ties into the work that you've been doing. Like, you created this positive change in your life. Um, you can even be, like, 
educating people in like whatever you do as well again maybe you guys are so good at your job that just for an example like the higher ups are giving you some type of promotion where like they're having you train new hires or like maybe they're having you go around to different locations like i don't know there's something about like just you doing very very well for yourself in your career in finances that like you're kind of realizing that's why the universe doesn't want you focusing on a relationship right now or like what's not happening in a connection with someone they want you to focus on what you have ahead of you which is like this really amazing career opportunity like that's basically what i'm getting i also see you guys are literally like so good at whatever you do like you're gonna have people like trying to like watch and learn from you or copy you or something like that's kind of what i'm getting um but it's like you can give them the recipe but the sauce still won't taste the same like you guys have something very special to offer like whatever job you have whatever your profession is and it's like even if they tried like they can't be you they can't produce what you produce they can't create like you create like they can't be you like you're a very valuable asset to wherever you are if that makes sense um and i feel like right now you're really just focusing on that and you're completely okay with it like it just kind of like at one point it's just really all gonna make sense for you um so i love that for you guys and now we're gonna do gemini okay what's coming in love for gemini Okay, so boom, I see you guys are trusting your intuition about a situation, trusting that there's a reason for everything that happens, and trusting that there's a reason your intuition is telling you to remove yourself from a situation. Especially with the Queen of Winter here, you're being asked to let go of all people or things that no longer serve you or your highest good. Now is the time to focus on your career. I also see like unmarried or divorced individuals for some of you, like maybe you guys were married to someone and like maybe it's just so like toxic and negative that you're like you know what like my intuition is telling me to leave and like i need to be strong and like cut off this situation i need to divorce this person because i have the desire for a more meaningful life um, a more meaningful relationship and it's like you're realizing that it's time to move on and choosing to make major life changes you guys literally could be like packing your bag and like moving out moving on from someone for others of you too like you don't have to literally be married to this person but like definitely you guys can be in a situation that is no longer serving your highest good like it's not good for you whether that's a relationship or people around you friends around you or even like a job it's like you guys are realizing like this isn't good for your mental health or physical health and it's time for you to like literally remove yourself from this negative situation and from people around you that make you feel negative emotions um like you are not being a fucked up person for having boundaries like you are not being mean for having boundaries i don't know why i feel like i have to say that to someone Right now, you're being asked to really, like, enforce your boundaries. Like, cut people off, leave people exactly where they had you fucked up at. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, and yeah, for a lot of you, I just feel like if you guys were in, like, a situation, whether this is a relationship or, like, again, like, people around you, like, you are realizing, like, they do not serve your highest good. And, like, you don't like how you feel around these people. So, again, you're trusting your intuition because right there, that is your intuition. Telling you to, like, not be around these people. And, yeah, it's telling you to, like, protect yourself, cut this off, and move on. It's time to move forward because the universe has something beautiful for you on the horizon. But it's, like, you have to remove yourself from the situation so you can get there. And I do feel like you guys are going to get there. 
because yeah, I feel like you guys already have come to this realization all of your own. For some of you, maybe you guys before watching this already felt that way and this is like your confirmation that it's time for you to leave a situation. Leave and never look back, like that's kind of what I'm getting. Because the universe has something much better for you. For some of you, I'm even getting like you want to get so far away from the situation or people that like you may even be like, you know what, like I'm going to move. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. Like for some of you, you could be moving across country or just putting a lot of space between you and these people because it's like you feel in the bottom of your heart like you know there is better out there for you but like not where you are if that makes sense like you guys know from your intuition that like if you were to stay in the same place surrounded by the same people or in the same relationship or situationship or continuing to deal with someone like you guys know it would be to your detriment if that makes sense and it's like you guys know that there is better out there for you so yeah i definitely feel like again you guys are listening to your intuition to remove yourself from a situation, people, place, workplace, whatever this is. And you guys are definitely either like physically relocating or just spiritually relocating. Like you guys are definitely cutting off all ties, all cords to whoever these people are. You even could be blocking them through social media or just like spiritually you are blocking them and moving on. Uh, yeah, like you don't want to waste any more time where you know you don't belong if that makes sense So I love that for you guys and definitely, you know, the universe has something amazing for you on the horizon and intuitively You know that okay, so I love that for you guys and now we're gonna do Taurus Okay, what's coming in love for Taurus? I see someone wanting to take action towards you Yeah, this person wants to have a lot of fun with you. Um, I just don't know if you want to have fun with this person. You guys want something more serious. Like, you guys want, like, unity with someone. Um, and you want to do the right thing for the right reason. And you guys definitely want something more traditional. Um, it just looks like this person is too, like, immature for you, if that makes sense. Because I'm hearing you guys are dream chasing and I see you guys like expanding your horizons. For some of you, I feel like this could be a past person because I see like while you're going up and forward, this person is like going down and to the past. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like you guys definitely like had already let go of the situation. You guys like understand the truth of the situation. This person came into your life for a reason when they did. And you guys also understand this person left your life for a reason. So I feel like you guys have already put this to rest while this person is trying to like start things up again with you. But like, and yeah, it's like you have no intentions to like revisit the past with this person, especially because for a lot of you, it's like all this person wants to do is have fun with you. And like you guys are ready for something more mature in your life. For some of you, it feels like this person never really matured. And maybe you guys dealt with this person when you were younger. So like at the time, that was fine. But like you want different things now. And also like you know your worth now. Like you guys know what you deserve. And like this person kind of feels though like you're playing hard to get. They kind of feel like... If they were to pressure you, you would like give it up to them or something like, I don't know. This person almost thinks like if you turn them down, you just want them to like work harder. Like this person's really determined to like get you back into bed with them. Like they're definitely like being nostalgic, reminiscing on good times they had with you, reminiscing on how good the sex was with you. But I feel like you guys are kind of like ready for the next thing like that's kind of what i'm getting again you guys have already put this to rest and you guys have no intentions on going back to the past you're too busy looking at your future again there's this imagery of like you guys going up towards your future and this person trying to go back down to the past uh, but it's like you're swinging over this person yeah, because you want to do the right thing for the right reason for you and you guys know it's not going back to this person and it's like 
for some of you, I feel like this person really could have hurt you in the past too. And it's like you guys kind of feel like you owe it to the past version of yourself to keep moving forward is what I'm getting. Like in the past, I feel like you would have been happy that this person came back. But it's like you're no longer that same person anymore. And it's like you guys know better now is also what I'm getting. You guys learned. And yeah, I definitely see you guys doing the right thing for yourself and trying to make better choices for yourself today that will create a better tomorrow. And again, like, you know, it's not going back to this person. So I love that for you guys. And we're going to do last but not least, Aries. Okay, what's coming to Aries in love? Okay, so boom, someone thinks you are super, super hot, very attractive. I do feel like you guys could either be currently dealing with something or something's gonna come in that's definitely feeling more physical based um, because this person is really just really attracted to your looks. Like you guys are like such a baddie, whether you're male or female, you're a baddie. But this person also could be juggling or it almost feels like because you're so attractive, they feel like they have to have somebody ready on the side if that makes sense and i feel like you guys are really disappointed by this because you're like yeah they think i'm like super hot but like if they think i'm so attractive like why do they want to deal with others is kind of what i'm getting and it's like making you feel a little bit of heartbreak here like you're again like disappointed like you're hurt you almost feel like well, I must not be that hot if they want other people, but like, no, that's bullshit. Like, you guys are literally so hot that they feel like they gotta keep someone on the side because like, one, they know that they don't deserve you. They know that they don't have what it takes to like, keep you is also what I'm getting. So they feel like because you're gonna leave them anyway, like, they might as well have something lined up just in case. Um, this person also, it's like stroking their ego because you are so attractive and it's making them feel like, like player, like I can't explain it. And I feel like it's funny because I feel like this person ruined like what could have been a good thing. That's why you're like, come on man, like really? Like you could have really had me here, like what the fuck? Like that's kind of what I'm getting. And it's like just how this person has disappointed you and caused you heartbreak, like this person has caused themselves heartbreak. And I feel like they definitely could be like reaching out to their friends or something like how they can like fix things with you. But like you guys are wanting to do the right thing for the right reason for yourself and you guys are like, you know what, I'm fucking good. Like you did this, like not me, like that's kind of what I'm getting. And I see you like taking steps to ensure your own security uh, within yourself to feel secure. And also I feel like you're not wanting to invest your energy back into this because you already seen how this person acted when they had you in their life. And it's like they fumbled you and they know they fumbled you, but it's like you guys are like, you know what, I learned and I'm not gonna give this person another chance to fumble me again. Like that's kind of what I'm getting because you guys are so attractive like you make this person feel insecure you make them feel insecure about themselves because like again like they know they don't deserve someone like you and they know they can't do what it takes to keep someone like you so it's kind of like they self-sabotaged it basically and like honestly they really hurt themselves by hurting you like that's kind of what i'm getting and yeah, I definitely feel like maybe they could be sending their friends to like stalk you or talk to you or like trying to get help from their friends or like a mutual, but you guys are just like not having it. And like you guys want to like invest your energy really into yourself and like making good connections with people that like actually appreciate you. Like that's what I'm getting. Like people that know what they have in front of them is gold. Like they don't have to lose you to see it after if that makes sense. And also too, it's like you kind of realized that like, you know, this was definitely more physical between you and this person. Like definitely more of like 
a fling energy or I feel like this person just really liked the way you looked like it's almost like they didn't really value you as a person until after they lost you until after they saw what they lost until after they saw what they lost and like you want to take them back like that self-respect that you have to not go back to this person is like sending the knife deeper through them basically because they did it like that's kind of what i'm getting but i don't feel like this person would actually admit that to you and i think that's also why they're like kind of talking to their friends trying to figure out like what they could do to fix it or like how they messed up or something but i just feel like it's not like this person is not gonna get it like it's not gonna click for them and it's like you guys even know if you gave them another chance like they're just going to fumble you again it's like this person doesn't know how to act around you this person doesn't know how to handle a baddie like that's the energy i'm getting and for some of you too i do feel like they tried to hurt your confidence a bit um again try to make you like doubt your attractiveness or something or how hot you are um they tried to like quote unquote humble you so like you would basically stay in the situation with them like that's kind of what i'm getting or they even hoped like if they made you jealous if you found out they were seeing someone else on the side like they wanted you basically to like I don't know, fight for them a little bit, like get a little competitive again because it like strokes their ego. And like they know you're out of their league. They know you're more attractive than them. They just don't want you to know that. So that's why this person was acting that way. And I feel like you guys like get that now, especially watching this too. I feel like for some of you, like you may have already like recently come to that conclusion. And then it's like watching this, you're gonna be like, oh, confirmation right there. And yeah, also too, like what I was gonna say before is like, this definitely could have been more like physical surface level with this person. And like, you guys want more than just sex. Like you guys want like unity with someone. You guys want the 10 of autumn, the 10 of coins. You want security. You want to grow a family life with someone. Like you want that in your life. Like you want someone who's like mature and ready for that. Not someone who's like, immature and wants to play games and like mess with your head because uh, this person was definitely trying to mess with your head and it's like for a hot second it definitely worked and then you guys like i don't know you snapped out of it and like you came to basically the realization uh that i just said where basically this person was only acting that way because they're insecure and definitely they were trying to like manipulate you in some way and it's like I don't know, a light bulb went over your head and you're like, oh, I get it now. Nah, I'm good. And this is actually something that like I see you growing not only stronger from, but like more confident from. Yeah, it's like this person almost had you forget that you were a baddie and then all of a sudden it's like you just come back like better and badder than ever. Um, so I love that for you guys. I know this person doesn't, but that's what I got for you guys. And let's see. Yeah, Aries was the last one. So you guys have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye.